so Digital Extremes just added Umbral Former in the game, through Nightwave rewards. All were excited, including me, as you might know, almost all of my frames incorporate Umbral mods, but, all that excitement was turned to confusion, as the developer did add only one Umbral Former in the game, it led me to questioning myself, where would I put this precious Umbral Former? Well, I have made up my mind, and I have several frames that I considered worth it for that Umbral slot. Before we begin this video, I would like to say that you should definitely watch this video until the end, as I promise you, all the information you will see, and hear on this video will be worth your time. I really want you guys to hear every single opinion I have about Umbral form and, I do hope at the end of it, you will have enough knowledge on where to spend it. Ok, let's begin. Before I tell you my recommendations, on where you should spend your umbral former, let's discuss first the basis on why a frame is worth the umbral slot. In all honesty, the umbral former should only be used for mean maxing a build for a certain frame. If you incorporated two or all of the umbral mods, then you don't have enough capacity to add another required mod for your build. Then you might need to use that umbral former of yours. However, not all frames requires umbral former to be excellent, there are frames that can absolutely be fantastic with just two umbral mods on, and still, you can mean max their builds, without the need of extra capacity, while there are others that don't really need umbral mods to wreak havoc, if we take a closer look at these umbral mods, we can see that their purpose is to boost one's health, armor, and power strength, so, that's another factor that we should take into consideration, we should take a look at a frame, whether or not, the health, armor, and power strength boost, will make his, or her kit better, but do remember, both umbral vitality and umbral fiber don't give additional health or armor, when you just equip it alone, their bonuses will be as the normal version when alone, that is why, we need to slap two or all three of them, to take advantage of their bonus effect, and that is why we need umbral former, as you can see these umbral mods does cost a lot of mod capacity, so, with all of that in mind, here are some of the frames, that I truly can say, are worth your umbral former. The first one is obviously Chroma, the age of the overpowered dragon is finally over, and right now, he needs a lot of power strength, armor, and vitality for a good amount of survivability and firepower, don't get me wrong, this build is already good, and enough to take out high level enemies, including Eidolons and those giant spiders on Orb Valis, however, it will be much better if we can slap an umbral fiber on this build. With all three umbral mods on this build, you can have as much as 1243 armor, with over 1k health, not to mention that it will yield additional power strength, which converts to both additional armor increase, when you are using the ice element, and fire power coming from your fury buff, and lastly, Chromo is worth your umbral former because he already have a prime version. Now, this is another factor that you must consider, it would be wise to put your umbral former on those frames that already have a prime version, but, what if, the frame of your choice has no prime version yet, should you just wait? Like for example, in arrows, this frame is really tempting, as with the help of umbral former, this build will be complete, I could put a max hunter adrenaline orage on this mod setup, and then add either enemy sense, or Vigilante Pursuit on the Exilus mod slot, if I can add both mods, then this build would be the ultimate Inaros build, meant for a very long survival run. But the thing is, Inaros has no prime version yet, best advice I can give you is, to wait for Inaros prime, which will come in year 2023, I'm just kidding, anyway, the decision is really up to you. But wait, I would just like to point out that this build is pretty sick even without Hunter Adrenaline or the enemy sense, so, in the end, I will leave the decision to you. Same goes with the next frame, Atlas. In all honesty, Stoner Boy needs all Umbral mods, for survivability, and punching power. Now, we all know that Atlas recently received a rework, and make him a little better in terms of survivability. He can get a maximum of 1500 armor, from a unique pickup called Trouble. Now, pair that with his base armor, the Adaptation mod, and Arcane Guardian if you have it then Atlas will be a lot tougher, this build is good enough, but if we can put Umbral Fiber on this build, then it will be much better, as your Atlas will have 1k plus health, plus over 1k plus armor, not to mention that it would also have a slight increase on power strength, but the problem is, some may not agree on putting their Umbral Former on Atlas, as he has no prime version yet, however, if Digital Extremes stick with their itinerary, then we could expect Atlas Prime next, if that happens, and you like this Stoner Boy a lot, then you know where to spend your umbral former. 
The last two frames that I can recommend for your umbral former, are a no brainer and, they become better when you incorporate all umbral mods in their build, starting with Val Kitty, this frame, with all umbral mods becomes a tough, speedy, red critty cat, now, this build does both take advantage of his warcry and his stereo ability, all three umbral mods does help out this frame in terms of survivability, when you don't have the energy yet to activate hysteria, it's because, the power strength and armor, does help your warcry become your second source of survivability, and at the same time, a way to regain your energy back, with the help of hunter adrenaline, in fact, if I were not aiming for a red crit hysteria here, I would take out gladiator aegis, and put on the adaptation mod, this would make my Valkyrie tougher when she's not using hysteria and, with the help of the umbra former, you can further increase that toughness, with the extra capacity, then you can replace steel charge with growing power, with this mod setup, not only that you can get more damage from your exalted claws, but you can also bolster the armor increase of your war cry, and yes, Valkyrie has a prime version, so probably, she's a good choice for your umbral former, the last frame would be the goat, Oberon, all umbral mods does benefit Oberon, and bolster his overall survivability, the increase in base armor, does synergy well with the increase of bonus armor coming from your renewal buff, not to mention that with all umbral mods on your build, you can gain more power strength, which not only gives you more health regen from renewal, but it also gives you the power strength you need to strip enemy armors fast, with your reckoning ability, the trade off for this mod setup however is low range, but honestly, Oberon doesn't need range to be that effective as one, he can recast his hallowed ground, to the point that he can cover all the necessary spots in the field, to crowd control enemies, and if you are worried about reckoning being ineffective, then don't, as you can just go near the enemies and cast your fourth ability, anyway, the base range is 15 meters, and this range alone can lift a bunch of enemies group together, by the way, for those asking why use quick thinking over phoenix renewal in all your Oberon build, well basically, it's personal preference, my reason is this, I think it's better to rely on quick thinking than phoenix renewal, which has a long cooldown. anyway, with this mod setup, you have enough power strength to restore your health, and use that endless loop of regaining energy and restoring your health, not to mention that you have the ability to crowd control also, which you can use effectively, to limit the number of enemies firing at you, and lastly, Oberon has a prime version, so, he's really a great candidate for the umbral former of yours, so that's all the frames that I recommend, now, you might wonder, why there's no Nidas, Nizza, or even Saren on the list, the answer to that is pretty simple, you really don't need to spend your umbral former, just to mean max the builds of these frames, in fact, they only require two umbral mods to make them end game worthy, let's take for example the build I have for my infested boy, as you can see, I only have umbral vitality and umbral intensify on this build, and I don't have any slot for umbral fiber, simply because I don't need more armor for survivability, due to the fact I have the adaptation mod, plus my link ability that grants me 90% damage mitigation, but that's not all I have. I also have this frame's passive ability which grants invincibility for a short duration, if you consider the fact that Nidus has these features, then probably, you will realize also that you really don't need umbral fiber on your build, same goes to iron boy rhino, an iron skin rhino only requires umbral fiber and umbral intensify on his build to be effective in my opinion, honestly, you really don't need umbral vitality on your build, as you will always be protected with your iron skin, this reasoning are the same to the other frames that are tanky, but I did not include on this list, they just need two umbral mods to mean max their build, and be effective, and the mod capacity are just enough to put all other necessary mods for the build, while the other frames, those that rely on shields, or just purely glass cannon, don't actually need umbral mods to be effective, so that's it, I hope that you have learned something from this video, and hopefully, this video have helped you decide where to put your umbral former, but do remember, this video is only a guide, and not meant to tell you where exactly you should put your umbral former, there's no right or wrong decision but, I'm just showing you some options where to put it, and some insights on what you can expect if you install the umbral former of yours in a certain frame, I'm not sure where you will put your umbral former, on will you even put it on your frame, or just of it as a collector's item for now, but, there's one thing that I'm sure of, we need the umbral mods for the upcoming sentient invasion, when the new war finally arrives, our Excalibur Umbra might need some help from our other frames, to beat the deadliest foes of the Warframe universe.
mother. What must I do? Sit there.